guys, what's going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV here, and today is another episode of Hut Road to Glory here with the FGTV Benders. So, um, last episode we played some games, uh, we got uh, qualified for Division 10. Th this episode we're looking to get into Division 9, play some more games, open some packs, and uh, improve our team overall. So we're going to start off the episode um, by looking at our trade pile here. Our training item sold, but Emerton and Silverberg did not sell. Um, so we're going to put those guys back up. Uh, we're going to put Emerton back up for just 50 minimum price because, you know, we're going to make sure people are going to bid on him. And for Silverberg, um, we are going to send him to our collection um, just, uh, just in case. So we're going to open up some packs here. We got a free gold mini pack. I'm not sure why, but I got this. And so I figured, you know what, why not open it? Steven Stamkos, let's see what we get. And as the pack gets ready to open, probably not going to be much because it is just a free gold pack. 500 puck bonus, I'll take that. Um, and Holden from the Springfield Falcons. So um, we'll go ahead and open some gold premium jumbo packs here. Um, and we'll see who we get because sometimes you get good things, sometimes you don't. And with this pack, we got... Stefan Robidas, so um, that's that's not bad uh, for the amount that I got this pack for. Definitely not worth it, but uh, you know, at least I got something. At least it wasn't like an 80 overall, like, I don't know, Conacher again, right? But uh, we did get a plus two all captain, a couple of Calgary Flames jersey, Minnesota change team, and some jerseys. So we'll sell as much as we can there. We're going to go with the Carey Price gold premium jumbo pack. Let's see what we get for this one. Hopefully it's better than the last one. And as the cards spill out, we see we don't get um, much. We do get that Corey Conacher. But we do get Christian Erhoff and Corey Conacher. So basically if you add those players up, it's like a Stefan Robida. It's kind of like the last pack. Obviously some contracts. Did get a couple of uh, unrare gold players that I uh, liked, but um, not much. We got Dennis Wideman, though. That's a good one. He's good defense. Uh, we're going to keep him, definitely. And some jerseys. So... Um, we're, we're getting some players here that we're mainly going to keep, not sell. Um, but we're going to open one last one here. Let's see what we get. And uh, we didn't get anything at the front part, but if you look in the middle of the pack, I don't know why they do this. It is a TJ Oshi. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use that card. Uh, pretty decent card. Um, you know, the stats aren't bad. Uh, got to change team Buffalo. That's good. Another plus two all captain. Um, some more jerseys and training, and that's it. So um, we're going to put some stuff up for sale. We're going to put the Buffalo Change Team card up for sale, 900 pucks. We're going to put the Plus 2 All Captain training card up for 500. We already had another one. We put that one in our collection, so we're going to sell the other one. The Plus 9 Low, we're going to put up for 300 for now. All these are up for an hour. The Plus 7 Quick, I'm um, not going to get much out of it. We'll try to squeeze um, as much as we can get. It says it sells for a lot, but I'm sure someone was trying to transfer some pucks. So put it up for a little bit and um, change team Minnesota. Uh, we put that up for 1,100 for an hour. So those change team cards do come in handy. They do sell for a good amount. Here is Biron. Um, actually, just announced his retirement. Uh, it's kind of funny. And then of course Conacher got so. M this is like my third or fourth time pulling him, I think. And we're gonna put him up for 600 for an hour. So. Um, we are going to go ahead and get some more players here. Chris Kunitz, the first one here. Uh, I really I really uh, liked his card. I thought it was good. And Paul Stasny, we're going to get him again. I sold him for about 9000 I think, or 10000 I uh, bought him for like over two thousand, a little bit over 2000 So that was a good uh, job getting him back for less money. I decided to keep him. So um, look at our new team there. You just saw the offense, and here's the defense. Uh, team in there, Robidaw added in, as well as Whiteman and Erhoff. Straights down there. Um, but we're improving Niemi's in net with Jagir as the backup still. I'm um, trying to get a new backup soon, though, because uh, Jagir's not cutting it. You know, I want someone better. Plus two all captain, Biron, Conacher, you know, all those guys sold. That's good. We're getting some pucks, 2,679 pucks. Minnesota changed team, didn't sell, and Upshaw didn't sell. Um, and there's some more, I think, but, uh, so we're going to try to sell these ones, uh, Minnesota change team, 900 and, or not 1000, sorry for an hour. And, um, the plus nine low didn't sell. 
um, not surprising. Um, then the upshot here, we're gonna sell that one for 500, put him up for an hour, and the plus nine low. Um, I think, yeah, we're just gonna quick sell that one because it's not even worth it. We're gonna get like 50 bucks out of it. So we're gonna finally jump into some games here after improving our team. I think it's a good team. We're gonna face someone called the Destroyers, Toronto Maple Leafs logo and jerseys. And here we go. So this is towards the beginning of the second period. He rips the shot right off the face off from a point, gets it in that Shen, and now he has a one nothing lead. <clears throat> and later in the game, he's on a power play, gets it his own rebound in the slot, puts it in, two nothing now. So a little bit worried here. Definitely don't want to uh, lose this game. Oshi gets a nice chance, wraps it around, and Skinner finishes it, putting in the rebound. Now it's two to one. So we got a little bit closer here, and this is Ennis, I believe, walking it in and just putting it in. Um, nice goal there. So now. Uh, we tied up at two. That's definitely good. Fisher gets a nice pass here and just rips it right in the slot. Now it's three to two, so we have taken the lead all in just a matter of a period. So he comes in though in the third period, nice cross size pass, ties the game up at three. Not good, definitely uh, had that lead and now uh, I couldn't get it. Breakaway here in overtime and we put it in. So we get the overtime winner there. Uh, that was Jeff Skinner. He gets it nice. I usually don't score on breakaways, and he finally scored on me or with for me, I should say. And uh, we get 641 pucks for that. And um, as I said, uh, we were in Division 10. So looking on improving and uh, getting to Division 9. So um, or sorry, we're in Division 9. We're trying to get into Division 8. So just to make that clear. Um, in a game here versus some guy with the old Vancouver jerseys. He gets a nice one-time pass right there in the slot with Wilson and puts it in. Colin Wilson. And uh, he has a one nothing lead. And later in the first, he gets his own rebound with Jordan Eberle. He puts that one in. Jordan Eberle, best player on his team with the captain um, training card. Boosted his stats, I'm sure. And uh, breakaway here. And Niemi gets a piece of it, but it just goes in. So 3 nothing here just in the first period. Never good. Nice job there getting around my defense. He gets a rebound with Ribeiro and puts that one in. So it's 4 nothing. He's quickly running away with this lead. I'm not too happy with it. Um, but uh, you know what? We're going to try to do the best we can. 6-1, though, at the end of the game. So we're going to lose that one. We only get 436 pucks. We lose that one 6-1. to one. And um, a pretty bad loss. Hopefully we don't repeat that. We don't get any points at all. And we have nine games left to get four points, I think. So we're going to get Martin Havlat here. Uh, for 2,450, uh, I think, and then Nuervirth uh, as the backup goal -ter. So I think these are two good pickups. Havlat, a very speedy forward. They kind of toned down his speed a little bit, but he's going to fit nicely in our team. And uh, Nuervirth is going to be a good backup. He's actually going to be starting for the next couple of games, so Niemi has um, um, energy. And Minnesota Change team sold for 1,050. Upshaw sold for 550. And Jagir, I put him in there after putting Norvith in the backup position. We are going to put him up right now for, uh, we're going to put him up actually for a pretty decent price. 1000 we'll see what we can get from him. Um, last price sold, though, was 900 so we'll see. Entering another game, another this time a home game, against the Red Ghost with Anaheim Ducks logo and jerseys. He starts off the game late in the third or first period with a rebound goal from Bodker. Kind of a fluky one there. Then he gets a one-time pass. Solani makes no mistake there. Puts it in. He is already up 2-0 in this game. About halfway through the game now. Nice move right there by Horton. Just walking in. Nice toe drag. Puts it in a backhand right past Reimer. So now it's 2-1. Face off now. And teaming in gets it. And rips a shot from the point and scores. So it is tied up at 2 Making a comeback here just like that first game. And here I come walking in the slot. And there's a nice job there. I think Yager may have tipped that. I'm not sure. Or he was the one that shot that. We're ahead now. Heatley gets the nice rebound goal on the backhand. 4-2 to two now. So we're kind of running away with the lead now. Um, and this is shorthanded here. It's going to be an empty net goal for Fisher. Nice celebration there. We got a bunch of shorties in that game. And um, we win it. A pretty solid win, five to two. We get 675 pucks, and most importantly, we get two points towards our Division Eight promotion. So we'll enter another game against T. Berg, and it's going to be another home game. Thankfully, here comes Heatley breaking in, and he scores there. Nice job breaking past the defense and putting it behind uh, Di Pietro was his goaltender. So one nothing for us, and he will tie it up there with uh, just only five minutes gone by in the second. 
rebound goal. And Weidman, after the faceoff, gets a shot off. Heatley finishes it. That's his second of the night. We're ahead 2-1 now. Nice rebound goal there from Heatley. And now this is going to be Fisher moving in. Nice pass, and what a finish there from Mike Fisher. And uh, nice pass from Horton. Um, and right here, end of the game, Heatley going for the hat trick, and he gets it. So nice move there. Puts Di, Di Pietro on his stomach and puts it in backhand. So there's a hat trick for Danny Heatley. He's done a lot for this team. I'm really happy with the performance he's been giving us. So that will be the game, a very solid win. Um, from us, 4-1, get a good amount of pucks there, and another two points, four points there. Um, so, looking pretty good, and we will finish off the episode by picking up Milan McCulloch. Pretty good card, he's going to fit in nicely there in the third line left wing spot. Here is the final offense uh, for this episode, the defense and goaltending did not change. But thanks guys for watching these videos, um, this video and hopefully other videos. If you haven't seen our other series on NHL 14, check them out. We have a Flames franchise and a Big Dave Live the Life. Check those out. Most importantly, like this video. It does take a lot of work to make these videos. It would be, a, you know, make my day if you guys could uh, get us a bunch of likes on this video. So give us a like, check out the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. This is Matt signing off. Peace.